Hello, hello, and welcome to Meanwhile back on the hobby farm. Had to do some weeding out in the back garden today. Still got a lot more left to do. And I decided these grapevines are just unbelievably exploded. I mean, they were wrapped all the way around. They are on the roof of the of the uh, pallet pub. They were wrapped all the way along the side. I cut that down. What I did was I just trimmed some of the edges, the three, four foot branches that had no grapes on them. Uh, and what I did was I gave the goats an extra treat. They absolutely love it. Watch them eat those leaves. Hey, 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 stop being a bully. Hey, knock it off. They're always afraid that someone's going to get more than them. There's more than enough here. The goose over there is like in the tall grass that I pulled out there. And these guys love it. Uh, they'll eat grass as a last resort, but they love those grape leaves. I, in the wintertime, I usually, uh, after I'm done harvesting the, uh, the grapes, I, um, I'll take a whole bunch of leaves and put them in gallon bags and freeze them, and I uh, take them out in the winter, and it's an extra treat because it's, for some reason, it's extremely uh, uh, enjoyable by them. They love it. Captain over there, he's just limping along. I try to separate into separate powers because you get hogs like Butch over here that is just plain mean. Come on, come on, Captain, go join the rest of them in there. Yeah, you tell them who the boss is. Hey, 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 Tennille. They bully him around because like any other animal, if you have one that's weak, they will tend to, um, to boss around, take advantage of it. Kind of sad. I thought humans were the only ones that did that, but, but uh, yeah, Captain's over there. He's getting his share. They just love those. They will have those eaten in about five more minutes. They'll be gone. It was double than what's there now. This one, Butch is eating grass. But look at that. They'll just swallow that whole leaf right up. Watch this. Boom. Gone. Hey, hey, Tennille, be nice to Captain. Will you for crying out loud, guys? You're so damn mean. They're always afraid one's going to get more than them. There you go, Captain. You got it. Next week, I'm going to go down there and put some long clothes on, and I'm going to grab that poison ivy off of that tree right there. And I'm going to pull that down, and they are going to be having a treat and a half. There you go, Captain. You show them who the boss is. You show them. Yeah. See, I might have a, a, a limp rear end, but you know what? I'm not going to stop. Hey, Butch! Butch! Hey! Knock it off now! I'm going to beat your butt. Knock it off. Hey! Knock it off. Now I don't have to give him a treat tonight. Watch it. Captain's going to go over there and Butch is going to come. Butch! You you push him out of the way again, and you got well, you and I are gonna butt heads. Hey hey hey! It's a Tanner pushing Simon away. Simon's pretty good around the other two. Uh, Tennille's getting pushy tonight, but go ahead, Captain. Go get some more. There you go. He he's smart. He grabs a whole section and pulls it aside because these guys are bullies. But when they're not eating, they all cuddle together and lay down at nighttime, and they're best of buddies. But when it comes to feeding, just like teenagers. Or younger, they got to spit in the other one's food so they won't eat it so they can have more. Guys, it's almost gone. Now I don't have to give you a treat tonight. Let's go back to these grapes over here. These are just amazing. Check that out. Now, six weeks ago, the goats got loose and they went in there and they chewed all of this low. There was none. And look at it now. I mean, we've got tons of grapes. They're going to be early this year. Everything's about three and a half to four weeks early this year. Let's go underneath here. And these are old canopies that I saw sitting on the side of people's yards and asked if they wanted to get rid of them. And I got two big frames of it. Look at this. All grapes up there. There are four or five hundred pounds. I got to get them out before the birds. Last year, the birds came here in one day. One day, and they wiped it all out. I'm going to have to drape it on the sides, too, so they don't fly underneath and get them from the inside. That's where I get most of my grapes from. I uh, really don't cut these down. You don't want to trim any of these until February. But I will strip the leaves down one at a time. Look at that. I mean, look how many grapes there are. I mean, they're green and sour. But look, grapes. 
Grapes, grapes, grapes. Very good year for, and the other one over here, same way. Just as many, it may be more. Goes all the way up to the roof over there. Just amazing. Well, that's it, folks. I just wanted to share my grape harvest with you. Hey, have a great day. Hit that subscribe button, would you? Thanks. Bye.